can draw the sun or the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! Ahoy, readers. I'm Deborah Hopkinson. Welcome to Ready, Set, Draw. I'm the author of a new series called The Adventures of Trim, and we can't wait to welcome you aboard to meet Trim and the crew. The Adventures of Trim are stories inspired by a real cat who lived long ago. We call this kind of story historical fiction. Trim was born in 1799. His owner was British explorer Matthew Flinders, captain of a ship called the HMS Investigator. Trim became the first cat to sail around the continent of Australia and maybe even the world. Captain Flinders tells us that when Trim was a kitten, he plunged overboard. Trim learned to swim right away. Captain Flinders said that when a rope was thrown to him, he took hold of it like a man and climbed up it like a cat. Thanks to Captain Flinders, we have many funny stories about Trim. I hope you'll be inspired to write your own stories. And if you'd like to illustrate your story and draw Trim, we have a very special treat for you. Christy Caldwell is an amazing artist, and she's here to tell you how to draw Trim yourself. Hey, Christy! Hey, Deborah. Hey, everyone. Trim was so fun to draw, and once you learn to draw him, you can draw almost any cat. First, let's gather the supplies you'll need today for your drawing. You'll need a sheet of paper, a pencil or a pen, Today, I'll be using a brush pen, plus some colored pencils. You can also use crayons or whatever you have lying around your house. I've brought some paints, and I've also brought some colored inks. I have a blue ink and a purple ink. And of course, a cup with water and a brush. Ready, set, draw, and paint. So here's what trim looks like. And oh, hey, it looks like trim is here to help. So let's get started. I like to start by rolling up my sleeves because I know that I'm gonna make a little bit of a mess when I'm drawing. But that's the fun part about art is that we can make a mess. Let's start with the eyes. Trim's eyes are shaped like little eggs. All right, and they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to match. And then we're gonna add Trim's pupils in the middle looking right at us. Next, we'll draw his nose, which is like a little triangle. He has a little line under his nose. And then his mouth is like two half circles underneath the nose. Now let's start drawing his head. Let's start at the top. Trim has a round head, but he has fur everywhere. So let's go ahead and draw in that fur. We can just make little jaggy bits. Now we can add in the ears, which are like two big triangles. Now we can draw the rest of his head, which again is round like an oval and has fur all the way around. Fur's really fun to draw. You can't really mess it up. You can just kind of wiggle your pen back and forth. Let's draw Trim sitting down which means his body will be in a sort of pear shape. So as we draw the neck, we come down to the body, and it's a little fatter. We can draw a line right down the center and that's the start of Trim's front legs. We just need two more lines. Now we have his legs and 
we can draw little half circles to start his paws and then just connect them back to the legs. Trim also has back legs. Since he's sitting down, his back legs are sticking out a lot. So we have a longer curve here and then we can just connect it back to the body with a straight line again. Now we get to draw the tail, which is one of the most fun parts. The tail is really expressive. If Trim is really excited, it's waving around back and forth. Right now he's sitting still, so we can just kind of give the tail a fun curve. And the tail is also covered in fur, so we just keep getting to wiggle our pen around as we draw and make all of that fur. If he was scared, we'd draw bigger jagged lines to show his fur sticking out. But right now, Trim's relaxed, so his tail is nice and calm with just a little curve. Let's give his fur a little texture. For that, we can use a pen, and we can just kind of be as free as we want, making all kinds of lines, whatever lines you feel like making. Short lines, long lines, wiggly lines, crazy lines. It all looks good. Trim also has very hairy ears. So we can add some more hair coming right out of the ears. And let's give him a couple little eyebrows here too. One special detail about Trim is that he has a white star on his chest. Let's draw the white star too. We can also add his toes for his front and back feet. Now we're ready to paint and fill in some colors because Trim has a really colorful personality. Let's start with the nose. We can actually use the pen again for this. We can just color the nose in however you like with a little bit of black pen. We can start by coloring the pink ears. A fun thing about Trim is that he has really bright pink ears. We can use a combination of crayons or colored pencils with paints to color in the body. Any kinds of purples and blues, blacks, grays, mixing those colors together gives a really fun and colorful trim. And the more colors we use, the more it shows off Trim's colorful personality. This is a special pencil called a rainbow pencil. You can find them at a lot of different stores, including stationery stores. It's really fun because as you color with it, it changes color. So you end up using every color. See all those colors on the page? Now we're ready to paint. Any kind of brush is fine when you're painting. A big brush can be really messy, but really, really fun. And a small brush is fun for little details. Like Deborah said, Trim was a real cat. Captain Matthew Flinders wrote a book about Trim. I read the book, and so I know a few things about the real Trim. For instance, I know he had white paws. So let's leave those areas white.
trim star is also white, so we'll be careful to leave that area unpainted too. Since the paper is already white, we don't have to worry about painting anything that's white. We can just leave it unpainted. And then Trim also has a little bit of white under his mouth, kind of a little half circle under his mouth. So that's the last piece of his fur that has white on it. And then of course, we'll leave his eyes white. I think our painting is done. Let's let the paint dry and then we'll add whiskers. The paint's dry enough, so now let's draw the whiskers. I think I had as much fun painting Trim as he had exploring the world. Oh, hey Trim, you're back. Welcome, how did I do? Thank you for joining Deborah and me and Trim on Ready, Set, Draw. Be sure to share your drawings with us using hashtag ReadySetDraw. I can't wait to see what you've created. See you next time.